Welcome. I know the workshop is a little, it's a lot, but to us, it is everything. Now you might be thinking, this looks like a lot of old junk. Rest assured, some of it is new junk. <laughs> <laughs> now you have the chance to meet Ashley. You will of course meet Sarah, Jacob, Anastasia, and another Ashley. You may call me Kembe. We call ourselves the Gatherers. We search the galaxy for ancient relics. We go to forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged planets. And what we find, we bring back here. So where a stormtrooper sees only worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past may be the key to ensuring our future. How many of you know of the legend of Luke Skywalker? Good, just about everyone, pretty good. And now we understand there's another, a new Jedi. Tell me her name. Ray. Ray, correct. A scrapper, just like us. And what she is leading is the spark of hope that we have all been waiting for. And that is why you are here, to look ahead, to build this. Lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The saber becomes a direct reflection of the builder because the force flows between them. And today, you will feel that connection. But enough of my talking. Let's get started. We will begin with perhaps the most important component of the lightsaber, and that is the kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. There are those who say the kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal will determine the color of the blade. For example, blue. As wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and we are told, Rey. Green. Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tana, great master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, as wielded by Mace Windu. Red. There are those who call this the color of power. The crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we are here for you, our future. So now it is time for you to choose your Kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Everyone, close your eyes. Picture those kyber crystals in your mind's eye. What color shines brightest for you? What color did you see first? What color is yours? Now open your eyes and select your kyber crystal. Well chosen, friends. Perfect. Now that you've selected your crystals, Feel free to place them in the green crystal holder directly in front of you. Don't worry, they won't be alone for long. We'll get back to them. We're going to talk about merging them with the saber design that you have selected. We're going to begin with a hilt. The hilt is the foundation of your lightsaber. It is the center of your control. It is the part that prevents your hand from being disintegrated. Very important part. Now what you see before you are the components for the saber design that you yourself selected. As you look down, you'll see the chassis, a selection of grips, emitters, hollow caps, and activation plates. Building a lightsaber is your personal journey. Just as you selected your kyber crystal, you will choose the pieces that make up your own individual lightsaber. Now the gatherers are here to help you along this path. So all that being said, 
Let's build. We are first going to start off uh, with our chassis. It will hold it up ways like this. These lines indicate that this is the top of the hill. This is, of course, where the blades can even hit from. Next, we're going to take our fiber crystals. Luckily, I have one just up my seat. You notice at the top part of the chassis, there is a small hole with a spring side. If you take a pointy end of your kyber crystal towards that part, it should be fairly easy to pop it in place. And it'll start to glow, it'll sink, and I can spin it in place. Perfect, can we spin it in place? Let me take a look. Let's pop it into the other side. There we go. Excellent. So now we're going to go over to column five. We have two pairings of activation plates to choose from. You will choose one of these pairings. Together. You notice on your chassis there's a red square and a blue square. Inside of the activation plates there is a red square and a blue square. So all you have to do is line them up into your chassis and they should pop into place. So red, red, blue with blue. Pop into place. Excellent. And if you hear that sound, that is a good sound from your switch. Excellent. Now we're going to go over to columns one and two. We have four groups to choose from. You'll be choosing two of them. One for the top and one for the bottom. It doesn't matter which one goes on the top or the bottom. They're all four interchangeable. But just know that there's a thicker edge to all four of your groups. They have to go toward the activation plate. The easiest way to apply them is to hold on to your plates. Give about a slight twisting pressure and you'll see they attach on. Should be about a quarter of a turn and no more so you don't strip the threading inside. The Excellent. Once we have our two grips in column three, we have two choices of emitters. The emitter twists on at the top, and then we have two choices of pummel caps in column four, and that will twist on at the bottom. You'll choose one for each, and when you've completed your builds, you can place it on the holder in front of you. to focus your manifestation of the force. You've got the Cartesian whalebone there hitting, allows the force to flow through. And the Brylark tree bark, uh, the Brylark force is said to sing with the power of the force. So this is a beautiful build you've chosen well. You're very welcome. Yeah, 
beautiful building with them. Yes, that is designed with bright art tree bark. Very nice. And then when Kim Bay says to activate, that'll be your signature. Thank you so much. So you'll be very pleased in your choices. These are beautiful builds, my friends. Take the moment while you can. Look at what you've created. These are your choices. These are all reflections of you. You've all assembled your hilts, and nothing unexpected or traumatic has happened yet, <laughs> which is good, as this is the dangerous part of the process. I will ask all of my builders and observers, please step away from the table, step away from your hilts. Our gatherers are going to stabilize your crystals for activation. And I want all of you to have the illusion of safety. There we are. It's a tricky process, but all of these individuals know what they're doing. So that makes it certainly easier for all of us. I'll modulate the frequencies myself. This should help. Actually, let's have to Well done. Chosen by the heart of skill you have. Chosen with heart. When joined to the art, much more they will become. For you, it is time. Master Yoda, yes, it is time. We are at the final stage of the process. The bond between Builder and Saber is about to be forged. In just a moment, I will ask my Builders to step forward. You will place your hands on your hilts, and together, on my mark, you will activate. Is everyone ready? Step forward, friends. Hands on hilts. Activate. Builders, raise your sabers. You have built a lightsaber, like the Jedi and Sith that came before you, and like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Builders, deactivate your sabers. Ah, complete your lightsaber is. Light your path, it can. Choose your path, only you can. May the force be with you. Thank you. Master Yoda, you hold in your hands remarkable power, and remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. <laughs> so to protect your lightsabers as you depart, we will offer you a saber sheath. Our time together is at an end, but your journeys are just beginning. It's time for you to make your mark on the galaxy, and to remember that you are as unique and as extraordinary the lightsaber that you have created. And who knows, maybe next time, we'll be telling your stories. Till the spire. Till the spire!